afternoon, everyone. It is a great pleasure to introduce to you a famous figure in the Department of Education. A man who loved and served Bal National High School for more than a decade. A man of many innovations, of many firsts, of many things. A man who put Bal National High School in the limelight. A man who made Bal National High School an outstanding school of several outstanding teachers and of many outstanding students. Our guest speaker was a very persevering, determined, goal-oriented person during his school days. A man of great achievements. He is a man of exemplary attitudes. He is a leader who pushes colleagues to become achievers. Today, his presence will be inspired by everyone to come say him. But the more you will be inspired as you listen and the more we will be motivated to keep on going as we listen to his encouraging words. Ladies and gentlemen, as a successful leader, a loving family man considered as the father of the Department of Education due to moral a very versatile humble tabernacle, Director Gilbert E. Sassad, Session 3, Regional Director, ROV. A man molded through a resilient educational foundation. A man in authority to speak about our theme for this afternoon. May you be glad to take knowledge of our guest for this afternoon. Director, uh, Thank you very much. Please be seated. Inspiration. 
our meeting president, the rest of the officials of the school, the rest of the officials of the local government of Baal, ang siyempre ang mga magurang mga kagigin na sobrang ka kasayahan, kasiyahan, are very happy with seeing their children receiving the diploma and of course the graduates and other students who are here mga dati kong kamistudyan sa Rome mga yun na hapon sa Saturia Gabos Bago ako magluman sa minsahin kong makakalimutan ko gusto ko muna i-promote ini pigapon na maapon na National Learning Camp. Iniimbitahan ko ang gabos na magurang, ang gabos na eskwela, ang gabos na maestra na mag-participate sa Learning Camp o inaapod ng Summer Learning Camp o lumakot na kanya ng summer para po padagos na ma-enrich ang kadagdagang knowledge kan sa tuyang mga aki on grade 7 hanggang grade 12 on grade 1 hanggang grade 6 ini pong national learning camp uh, garuman sa naiting summer learning summer classes pero ini libre tinatao kang department of education para uh, makarecover kay itong inaapuntang learning loss kaya mga maestra Sana mag-sacrificio kita. Kung gabos kita, nag-compose sa Facebook, every move, every event, sinasabi ta, para sa bata, para sa bansa, this is what I can tell my colleagues, my teachers, true love for the students, for them to learn needs an authentic sacrifice and that should happen this summer. You really have to sacrifice your vacation so that more learnings will happen during the three to five weeks. Marami ang nagsabi mayong vacation sometimes there is a call for duty for all of us to forget ourselves for the children that we are teaching. I know how high school can do that because you were trained to sacrifice. You were exposed to the kind of learnings or leadership I have had with you. There is a call there should be a response. So, that is the National Learning Cup. Inahagad ko man ang partisipasyon kan mga eskwela, kan mga magurang na imbis na magkarawat dyan sa luwas, imbis na mag uh, sabi nga kaya magpara bariyami kung sa age, dumana lang kita sa eskwela ng tiripuntipun because there is nothing wrong if you will continue to study because that learning comes will enhance your competencies it will help you become more ready for the many challenges that we are facing today lalong lalong na sa pag-adal would you believe that your regional director is already 60 years old but I'm still studying. I'm enrolled with my PhD degree in Naga College, and I hope I will finish that. Because learning should be continuous, learning should not stop, only death can stop us from learning. Walang mawawala kung kita padagos magkadal. Now, my dear graduates, Honestly, speeches and graduation ceremonies 
may not be important to you because what you want to hear from us is for you to receive your diploma so that you can go go home and have your you eat your hagda nagpabuno ni kurin ni manok ni baka dahil iyon ang gusto ni dumada mo I've been in the Department of Education for 34 years and I've been exposed to many kinds of graduation ceremonies. But the invitation accorded to me by Pao High School, sabi ko, dahi ko hindi malalang pason. Dahil Pao High School has a place in my heart Baal High School is a part of my success and of course Baal community supported me in my esteem as principal of Baal High School from 1994 up to 2004 of January. So practically 10 years I've been in the principal. And I'm sure the graduates today ay naipalaman niya na bubuo mayong paili sa sa isip nag-i-illusion pa sa nasa sa inyong mga magurang. Because some of the parents I see mga at mga mga eskwela kang baaw kay siya. You're lucky because Sabi nga rin kaya yan, dahil ka mo nag-agi sa kamot ni Sagsa. Sagsa, during his incumbency, Diyos ko, baka nabakidan ko ka mo. Inahanap ko po kay ito ang mga eskwela na nagpaparuloob at sinapun kitang mga na why I was, why I done that the Baal? Because I had that mission that every child in Baal should finish high school. Because there is a big advantage for us to study and finish education. Nakakaabanti po at nakakatapos ng pag-alam. I was very passionate that all the students of Baal High School must finish high school. That's why I was very strict. I was very cruel, sabi ng iba not only to the students, but even to the teachers. And I hope they learn also something from me. Had I not done that, I think some of the achievements of the school may not be with us. I've done that because there is a need to transform the school. There is a need to change the behavior and attitude of our learners, of our parents, of our community. During that time, ang tawag sa Baal High School, Barangay High School. Every time na nagnununan ako sa padyak, pag hinapunta ko, pasahin ka sir sa Baal High School. Sasabihin sa barangay, I immediately corrected na mga parapad ka, maski parangay sikil. Because I want something to change, that the school must have a better place. Respetado, at sinigwan yung maray na pangarap. Kaya nga ni mga eskwela, mga graduates, Mga magulang, kung araw lang ninyo nagsakripisyo ang mga maestra kang sa uyang panahon. Because I really see to it 
that those teachers teaching in Baal High School should really embrace the kind of education we have by enrolling their children to Baal High School. Dahil kung tinugutan ng ating kamaestra yaong sa ibang isilahan kundi yaong sa sadirin ispilahan na kung sa in sinda ng tutokyo. Because you cannot convince the people of Baal if you yourself do not believe in the school. That was a very difficult task that I've done in Baal. Changing the mindset of these people and for them to fully embrace Baal High School. That was more than two decades ago. That was in 1994 to 2004. And I'm happy that despite of the difficulties despite of the rank, rank, and ranting or the madness or shall I say the cruelty of the principal my teachers followed me that's why this is the time for me to tell you that I also salute you for that being so subservient and so listen to my leadership Thank you, teachers. Mas ikaw mo na ipisina. Every time I visit barangay, I see many of our graduates in Baal High School who remain to be idol. Ah, idol. Walang, walang ginagawa. Dahil ang eskwela, yung dyan sa, sa sentro, nagtatambay. Because of that, I said, every year, we continue to produce 500 high school graduates. If the 500 graduates we have for 10 years, then there should be how many? 5,000? 5,000 graduates? Then what will happen to these 5,000 graduates? If they don't study, I told to myself, there is a need to provide access for the Baal people to be grown in times. Again, my dear graduates, it was a difficult move for us to organize a community college. We started articulating in 1997-1998 but we only started with all the risks I took to start the operation of the Baal Community College in 2000. When we started this, only select teachers from Baal High School who joined me as faculty members of the school. I received a lot of scolding from the, from the Commission on Higher Education. Why? I opened a college in Baal. I received some negative feedback and comments from other higher education institutions because the community college became their competitors. But we pursue the operation of the college even if we receive a lot of scolding. 
I was about even to, to be sued. But I told my staff, let's continue because we are doing this for the people of Baal. And thanks again, look at the Baal Community College that you have here in Baal. It's already producing graduates who are now productive in the field of education, in the field of other disciplines. Di ba po, masaya na ang mga nagabaal, meron na kayong college, and there will be no more reason for you not to study in the tertiary dahil wala kayong pangbayad sa school. I often heard those reasons from the med students we have. That's why I said there is a necessity for all of us to open another opportunity for these people, for the graduates to Baal. And I'm happy that the Baal Community College is not only catering to the Baalwenos, even catering to the other municipalities in Rinfunada. Education must be open to all sector, to all re sec sector, religion, groups, and other person. Because education must be for all. I am not doing this citing all those things that I'm saying to tell, to brag you what I have done. Later I will tell you why I am saying this. Kasabay po kang Baal Community Colleagues, iyan na Donia Eusebia Paz Arroyo Memorial High School, which, which was opened in 2000. We started sa EPAMS duman sa Chapel Tangulwa. In 2002, I think, or 2001, we also opened the Donito Arroyo Memorial High School in Sagrada. I came in Baal in 1994 and I saw there is congestion and I also observed and learned na meron pala tayong lupa doon sa San Vicente. That's why in 1994, kahit walang building, kahit ako yung muntik na rin iakusar ng Philippine Coconut Authority dahil pinapunod ko yung mga, mga coconut para lang gawing classroom. Mabuti naman at ako'y pinatawad at naintindihan that my priority is to have a classroom for the annex of Baal High School. Look at Baal High School na ano nang pangalan ngayon? Yung related ng mga Boston Imperial Memorial High School. Tingnan ninyo ang laki na. My dear graduates and even parents who are here, I am saying this because we really want everybody to be educated. We want everybody to have, to obey free education. We want you to learn something. Kaya nga ni kita nagbuburukas ng iskwilahan para lang kita maging productive na tao. As I already said, mas maray na nakakatapos ni pag-adal. There is a big advantage. And how I wish and I hope itang mga magurang hindi sa baaw dahil na pagsayangon ining mga oportunidad na tinatang sa tuya kang gobyerno lalo na sa parte kang inovasyon. I am saying this because these are the struggles we have had 
during the time when we were starting to open those schools and colleges here in Bacal High School. We took the risk because there is the passion for all of us, for the teachers, para makatabang sa kada aking karang bahaw. My dear graduates, you are already resilient for me. Why? You survived the most dangerous pandemic for two years. While millions of people died of COVID all over the world, and more than 50,000 Filipinos suffered death, we, Bawenos here, survived. And we are lucky, and we have to be thankful and grateful to the Lord for not giving us the COVID or saving our lives. We also survived another pandemic in education when we closed the schools and how education continue through other forms of learning modalities. You all survive with a modular. You all survive with a blended learning. That is something to cherish because in your generation, you have experienced all these things. You have faced these challenges and you were able to rise from these challenges. I am happy that we have 536 graduates of our high school for senior high school. This is an indication that we were able to overcome the many challenges that we face before we come to this point of graduation ceremonies. That is a big accomplishment. My dear friends and graduates and parents, I hope Many of you will continue to college. And if some of you will not go to college because you need to work, we pray that you will also succeed. But if there is a time for you to study and grow, even if you only have one or two subjects, even if you will finish that course in 10 years, what is important? You are doing your best, balancing work and learning. Mas magandang nagaadal, nag-iiskwela. Kung talaga mayo-mayo. But for those who will continue to college, my dear graduates, please, huwag nyo naman sayangin ang gasto ng inyong mga magulang. Is that it well? Remember and look at your parents today. Hindi naman sila lahat mayayaman. Lahat sila naghihirap just to give the best for the children. That's why for every centavo that your parent will spend for your education, please count in as your investment also for your sacrifices. 
lingawan na po ng tabi itong mga yaon dyan sa luwas na mga bisyo ilaong nindo ang buhay nindo sa sapatos kay kansaydong mga bakurang kung burahan o sindakas kahirap maghanap buhay. Asin kung ang satuyang mga magurang pobre mayong mayo sa buhay mga aki, mga graduates na itapagbasulon ang satuyang magurang kundi kamuna mismo ang magbibuli paagi para mabago ang buhay ninyo. No one can change your life except you yourself. Come on, Mr. Why I am saying this, Maniwala Kamo. I was born out of wedlock. My mother, at young age of 18 years old, went somewhere else in Quezon province. After one year, daradaran niya ang bola sa iyong tulak nagliwas si Sansa. And even until now, I do not know who is my father. Kaya nga din gusto kong maging ama si Mayor Jeff. Tabaka siya talaga ang ama ko. Kaya naman siya lugi sa sakuya na director naman ako. Alam ko na ang sunod ko. O baka yung hindi sa audience ang sakuya ko. But I'm telling this seriously, my dear. I was born no body. Mayo ni Magurang kasi tinago ako tal sa kuyang niya. At itong panahon, pag ika, daraga, nabadusan, itatago mo ang akin mo dahil kasusugan ka pamilya. Iba na mo niya ng panahon, paglabadusan na naraga, bigyuro ni stay pa, di ba? But before the during the time, kaya day ko alam sa ina ko, manuman si Sai at sa kuya ay magurang. I hop from one family to the other family. Kung si Sai ang nangangahipok at sa kuya ang servisyo, yan ang tapuluman. And will you believe I start schooling. Nagpundo ko ako mag grade 6 because I have nothing. May uting mga gamit na pwede darahog pag iskwet. May uting bago. So I went to Divisoria. Nagturutin naman ako naman. Kaya during the time, in 19... 76 Beristado ko si mga paranungkot sa Divisoria Pero di man ako kabali naman Because I want my integrity to be intact Mag-ibo na lang yung iba Di maghabol But because I want to change my life I went back to Goa Nag-adal Dahil may naipon then during my time, probably during the time of Eleanor Montagna, may ikap, can you recall, mga magurang may ikap, tungtiga ang relinig sa barangay, e dahil maligos-ligos kita, ang sakuyang mga kaklase, mga hugagon, ako ang pigbabayanan mang lili. And I got money to pay my tuition 10 pesos monthly sa Partido National High School. During the time, my dear graduates, may bayad ang public school. 10 pesos is a big amount for a family who does not have income. So, yun ang sakuyang naging trabaho. And because naging kang advisor, kang teacher, ay gusto nung may hindi si Sanisan. I was recommended for scholarship sa IPA. Kaya ko mga tapos ni high school. Now, 
ang istorya paano po nakakalit kung mayo mayo Ano mo ang nag-inspire sa sakuya sa rung maestra? When we, grad- after our graduation, or during our graduation, I got a note, a small envelope, may nakalagay na saying, poverty is not a hindrance to success. When I go home, I keep on reading, I keep on reading, poverty is not a hindrance to success. Poverty is not a hindrance to success. Then I'm going to have a lot of people who are going to be able to say to them, to their advice, why I'm given that short note. Then I realize, I am being told by my teacher, that I am a suko, maski, a mayo, mayo. So, I went back to the school para mag-clearance ng kataon kang panahon iguanin study now, pay later one. Ang problema, there are requirements. Pero, kung ika-determine ng tao, even if there are challenges along the way, you will survive and push and achieve your goal para ikaw maging uh, grande. To ensure, nagaging grande kang study now kay Liter Plan, nakatapos ni college ang sakuyang kurso Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Engineering, my dear graduates. Not education. Dahil sa tawag kang pangangahipo after my graduation, I applied several agencies per Mayo because in 1986, when I finished college, nasa government reorganization tayo during the Cory Aquino government. Walang job opportunities. So, I studied little by little, taking, or, uh, taking methods of education, and I passed immediately, I went was hard and become a teacher. Iyan po ang istorya ko. Kaya ano tagrami ang sakuyang pag-istricto sa mga eskwela ko kang panahon. Iyan po gusto ko na pangong mga eskwela makatapos ma. Because I've seen and observed the kind of living you have. Nahiling ko kung ano ang kamuntakan kang sarong pamilya. Naranasan ko kung ano ang difficulty ng pag-adal, ng pagkabuhay. That's why I said, if I will become a teacher, I, this will be my mission to see to it that every child will read this high school because I was a high school teacher and a high school principal. Dahil pa nga din kung dyan natapos, gusto pa ka mong tawanin access and that comes the birth of our community family. Sana po, inikulay-ulay ka mo dyan, inikpag-share ko sa ito kang sa kuyang buhay. Magimating doon basihan Ikihiling ko nga ni ang nagpapasok pa sa bago, mga bago ang bago, bago ang sapatos. Alaga na ko kang nagranuar ni high school, dahil ko aram ko ni bago yung bago ang gamit. Ang sakuyang sapatos, ala ba? Sinublikan sa pinisan. Ang sakuyang long sleeve, medyo tama man, sinublikan sa pinisan. Ang sakuyang pagtalon, tinuglian sa mga sadiling tao. Dahil akong maghapot ko ng sakong brit, tinuglian. Taang nang gilduman ko, karo na iman ako kaya ng atong panahon. I am just telling you the truth. Kung buwala ng kapobrins, isa-isat. That's why my dear grandmates, Continue to study. 
and for those na mayroon ding pagkakataong mag-aadal, they come up with running pag-asa. Dahil iyan na lang at sa tuyang kapitan, hope pag-asa. So in closing, my dear graduates, taaram ko at luto na sa lezon, luto na sa mga fried chicken at kasing ibang handa. Let this be my appeal to all the graduates of Bao High School Batch 2023, 2022, 2023. For those who will go to college to study a course and if you finish and succeeded, do not forget to look back where you came from. Look at your school. Your school will continue to wait for you until you return. Even if you did not succeed or you succeeded. For those who will go and find job, we will pray that you will really be employed because that's one of the curriculum exit of K-12, of senior high school, readiness for work. And if you have already find a job and you succeeded, don't pay to look back where you came from. Your school will wait for you to listen to your successes, even your failures. And for those who will pero ayaw ko to ito ba ito mapaadum na mapaadum na at the early age sana naman wala sa baong high school wala sa batch na ito pero di ba naman ito kontra I am praying that no one from you after graduation mapakasal na sana wala pero kung yan na talaga ang gusto nyo go on and if you succeeded to raise a family, do not forget to look back where you came from. Because your teachers are always there waiting for your return. For those, if you fail, they might give you guidance and help you. That only not even your classmates, your batchmates, may help you if you fail to achieve your dreams. My dear graduates, you are luckier than the rest of the generations of batches of graduates before the pandemic because you have experienced the many difficulties in life and you were able to survive. And that means you are resilient graduates of K-12. Magandang hapon, Senator.